in Western Canada. She was brought here in 1877 by barge in order to build the line to the U.S. border from Winnipeg. There was big fanfare when she arrived. The first Governor General of Canada was on the barge with her. His name was Lord Dufferin. The Countess of Dufferin is named after his wife. So, some interesting facts. She built her way to BC from Winnipeg. When she finally got to BC, she was bought by a lumber mill company owned by CNR. The Countess of Dufferin was originally a CPR um, steam locomotive. So, in 1909, the mayor of Winnipeg and the city of Winnipeg decided since the Countess of Dufferin was such a major part of our history that they would buy her back from the lumber mill company. CPR agreed that they would fix her up and, you know, make her serviceable and pretty again. But the issue was the lumber mill company was owned by CNR, who was CPR's rivals. And CNR did not want to sell the Countess of Dufferin back to CPR. To this end, the mayor of Winnipeg, Mr. Watt, was sent to BC to negotiate with CNR, who agreed to sell the Countess of Dufferin to the city of Winnipeg. CPR then took repossession of the Countess of Dufferin and they fixed her to the beautiful lady that she is now. So, hello. So I believe that my learning style is more um, a, like linguistic learning style. So I listen and read um, to learn about things. Um, I learned about the Countess Dufferin because I work at the Winnipeg Railway Museum and I had to study the different trains that we have and I listen to my coworkers talk about them.